So I saw an article uh, on the web on how to use um, this uh, motion sensor. It's actually um, uh, a sensor that does uh, uh, processing of uh, pitch, yaw, and roll. It does accelerometer and, and quite a few other little features but I was just interested in the pitch, roll, and yaw function. And uh, it was an interesting um, uh, uh, article because what it did was it, it, it used this little module, which was less than 10 bucks. And um, you can um, run the code that it offers and it's pretty straightforward. And if you open up the the serial monitor you'll see that when the mo when the module's connected and you start to move it the the numbers here change depending if you do pitch or roll or yaw and so i thought the yaw portion uh, like a compass would be interesting maybe to put on a on a car bot of some sort and use bluetooth and maybe capture that data to find out where you actually go uh, as you drive. So that being said, I thought, well, at least that would be kind of fun because there's also a, a compass module you can get, but I'm not sure if I necessarily need that yet. I might do that in the future, but this was uh, inexpensive and I thought it'd be kind of cool because I, I, I originally thought that um, the, the compass function would be good. And also what they did was they, they did a, oops, that actually went too far. Yeah, let's see, let's delete that. There's a second module that you download that uses this program called Processing. And Processing is a program that does a graphical representation of data. So here you're generating data, and that data is roll, pitch, and yaw. And I thought, well, that'd be kind of cool to capture that data and show it graphically on the screen. And then maybe even put it on a, on a robot car and see the car going down the hallway graphically and see what it does. If it goes up a hill, down a hill, uh, turns left or right, I could actually see it on the screen. And this was already pretty done. So I didn't really come up with a whole lot other than um, um, uh, bring up and kind of edit the program a little bit. Um, and so what it does is it allows you to use a module to see 3D representation of what what's actually going on with that module. And so I thought it'd be kind of neat to be able to see the, the, the robot, the, the car turn and pivot going down the hallway. I, you know, maybe if it goes up a ramp or down a ramp, hopefully it won't roll. Uh, but I thought that was pretty interesting to kind of see how uh, that would work. So that's why I kind of uh, went down this path. So that very simply is, is the, uh, the program. Um, I did have to use an older version of processing. Oh, uh, I used version 1.5.1. 1. Uh, the newest version is 3 point something. And uh, you can see some of the data down here, but it isn't really displaying it correctly. Um, you really don't need this information. This is the packet information that actually moves this uh, graphic. Eventually, I also was thinking of taking this graphic and changing the graphic. So instead of being a plane uh, or a car, um, being uh, make it into a robotic arm that it would show me the the arm actually moving. Um, so that might be done in the future too. So I thought that was kind of an interesting program to kind of play with. Uh, graphic representation of data is not my focus. It's the robotics that's what I'm really interested in. So here we have the code for calibrating the MPU 6050. Um, I didn't really show this code running uh, in the video clip. Um, I kind of wanted to show the video clip with the Arduino uh, IDE uh, and the processing uh, sketches running to show you how the MPU 6050 actually worked and what um, intrigued me in the fact that you could actually uh, use something on the Arduino and see that data that it generates to be um, displayed 
uh, graphically using processing. And I'm going to try to use processing more because I find it very interesting. So um, what I have here that I'm trying to show you um, is this code calibrates the MPU 6050 so that it works uh, well or as well as possible and accurately as possible with your project. Um, each board, each little uh, module of the MPU 6050 is slightly different and some of the code you download to read the values from that are generic uh, averages of values used to calculate and read the board or the module itself. Uh, this allows you to tweak it and get it uh, more accurate. So I didn't write this code and I'm not really sure how everything works, but overall you, uh, you hook up the module, you run this code, and it will print out to the serial monitor the values it calculates to be uh, the best. And I have to conclude those values actually do work uh, very well uh, for uh, for me, I used it just the yaw uh, portion of it to calculate, um, uh, uh, you know, 090, 180, 270, 360 degree um, rotation. So let's go through this really quick because I don't really have uh, too much to say about it. Um, uh, here it says the Arduino sketch that returns calibration offsets for the MPU 6050. Here's the date that it was actually created, uh, the person that did the coding. Um, it's based on this guy's uh, um, I2C uh, development library. I used a lot of this guy's uh, code also. He's actually quite good. And you can get uh, updates here. Uh, it says here, these offsets were meant to calibrate MPU 6050's internal DMP, which can be u also used for reading sensors. The effect of the temperature, I guess there's a temperature portion. I did not use a, a module that had temperature. Uh, the guy can't guarantee that the temperature works. Um, Here's where the code is. Uh, my Arduino sketch uh, for this, uh, this actual code, I'm, I call it Yaw Calibration from website. I'll put this on CodeBender. There are some side notes here. Um, in addition to connecting 3.3 uh, volts ground SDA and SEL for this, connection the pin labeled as SDA and the MPU 6050 to the Arduino's A4 analog pin. Uh, pin 4 SDA and the pin labeled SCL on the MPU 6050 to the Arduino's A5 analog pin 5 SCL. So that's how you hook it up. Here are some libraries you need. Uh, there's some configuration here. Um, these are all the defaults. I labeled the defaults. Um, I didn't change anything here. There's some sort of I2C address. You may need to change it. Um, like I said, I never really changed anything. Um, some variables that are initialized here. Uh, you connect to the I2C bus. Uh, this is for the DUA. I didn't use that. You could probably even take that out. Um, the serial begin is a, a very fast serial communication. I tend to like to see this around 9600. I think I might have even done mine at 9600 when I did the calibration. But again, it's not necessary. You can just leave it at that. Just make sure you change your serial monitor to be the same value. Initializes uh, here, um, and it reads some characters uh, um, uh, from your while well, from the module, um, and then uh, it loads up a buffer. I'm not really sure how all this works per se. Um, here it gives the name of the sketch. Um, here also uh, it tells you. Should be, you should place the module, the MPU 6050 module, in a horizontal position. Um, and my letters may have been facing down, I remember. And then you don't touch it. You want to leave it until you get the message down that's printed at the bottom of this code. Here it starts to uh, uh, either say, uh, uh, was the connection to the module successful or was it, or did it fail? So maybe you don't have power. This is a nice little if statement print statement all in one. I kind of, uh, after seeing this, I thought this was a nice bit of code where you go to print something, you test for it using this question mark, and if it's true, it print it, it, it does this code, or else it does this code. So uh, this was like a print statement, if statement, comparison all in one. 
I thought that was a nice bit of code, so you may want to try to use that in the future for uh, doing some nice quick coding if you need to save space or uh, byte space. Uh, here it resets some offsets and stuff. These are the um, uh, uh, mm, uh, variables it uses. Here's the loop. It starts here. It reads the sensor. Um, it checks the state. It starts to calibrate the uh, calibrate the offsets. Um, and then once the state equals two, I guess it does it. It loops through it a couple times. Uh, once or twice it gets a bunch of uh, readings, two readings, and then one, if state equals two then it prints out finished and these are the uh, variables that it fills and calculates and a lot of these variables are um, in code that uses uh, or sketches that use the MPU6050 uh, module and you can just plug them straight in and it says here Data is printed as as these variables here. There's like six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Check that your sensor readings are close to to this. And then, if calibration was su successful, write down your offsets so you can use them in your project using something similar to to this. And there'll be a a line statement in your sketch that you download uh, if you download it from the web or you or you get it from somewhere else. It'll say MPU dot set and then there's an, uh, an offset for acceleration, gyro, maybe yaw, I don't remember offhand here, but, and then, your, and then the offset number, and that's what um, these values are up here. And then you just plug them in. I would recommend you save uh, the original, just in case, uh, put it in a comment line or a debug line, and then um, uh, it, it stops the code uh, the sketch stops. Uh, this is a function that does uh, some sort of calculation. Uh, it reads the raw values from the device, stores them in an array, does some calculation here. I don't really know what it's doing per se. Um, it's figuring out what the best value is, I suppose, or an average, and then it stops uh, uh, here, once it's done, five, once it's done it uh, maybe five or six times, it reads through. So uh, that's the code. Um, it worked very well for me. I ran it three or four times to get kind of an average, um, and then I put that in the Bobot code, and it worked really well. So I hope this helps. Uh, again, this is just extra uh, tools to uh, program and set up the the MPU 6050.